Nahuel Huapi National Park Spanish, Parque Nacional Nahuel Huapi is the oldest national park in Argentina, established in 1934. It surrounds Nahuel Huapi Lake in the foothills of the Patagonian Andes, the largest of the national parks in the region. It has an area of 7,050 square kilometers, 2,720 square miles, or nearly 2 million acres. Its landscapes represent the North Patagonian Andean zone consisting of three types, namely, the Alto Andino with perpetual snow above an altitude of 1,600 meters 5, feet, the Andino Patagonico in the lower reaches of the hills and the Patagonian Steppe. It also represents small parts of the Valdivian rainforest. The park and the reserve lie at an altitude of 720 to 3,574 meters (2,362 to 11,726 feet) and are designated under IUCN Management Categories 2 (National Park) and IV (Management Reserve). The park is completely protected, while the reserve is partially protected. The national park is dominated by the high mountain chain of the Andes, many lakes, rapid rivers, waterfalls, snow-clad peaks, glaciers and extensive forests. It is bordered by Chile on its western side. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The park derives its name from the lake which it surrounds, namely the Nahuel Huapi. In the Mapuche language, Nahuel means jaguar and Huapi means island. History The earliest discovery of Nahuel Huapi by the non indigenous peoples is linked to the conquest of Chile. In the summer of 1552–1553, the governor of Chile Pedro de Valdivia sent Francisco de Villagra to explore the area east of the Andes at the latitudes of the city of Valdivia. Francisco de Villagra crossed the Andes through Manuel Malal Pass and headed south until reaching Lame River in the vicinity of Nahuel Huapi Lake, in colonial times explorers in the search for the legendary Ciudad de los Cesares. Visited the zone and Jesuit missionaries coming from Chiloé archipelago established a precarious mission on the shores of the lake. In the 1870s and 1880s, Perito Morenos undertook a series of exploration trips into Patagonia. Later, he worked for the Argentine government's Boundary Commission. In short, Perito Moreno's explorations and work were fundamental for securing Argentine sovereignty of the Nahuel Huapi area. As a retribution for his services Perito Moreno was granted a huge tract of land around Nahuel Huapi Lake in 1903 Perito Moreno donated 75 square kilometers 29 square miles of land in the area to the federal government At the same time he proposed the creation of a national park A decree of February 1 1909 recognized that the area needed protection then in 1916 works begun to establish a park and it finally opened in 1922 as Parque Nacional del Sur. The total surface of the incipient national park in 1916 surpassed that of the donations of Perito Moreno. It was not until October 9, 1934 that Nahuel Huapi National Park acquired its present name. At the same time in 1934 the Iguazu National Park was established in Argentina, in contrast to subtropical Iguazu National Park, however, temperate Nahuel Huapi National Park was believed to be able to compete with the tourism of Europe and was therefore, along with Bariloque, prioritized by national tourism development planners. In the first year of the National Park Service, 1935, several regulations were implemented that affected Nahuel Huapi. These included construction code, sport fishing, standardization of drinking water sanitation, and issuance of vendor permits. The area opened up for mountain climbing and other recreational activities after the park was established. Geography <laughs> 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 The park covers approximately 7050 square kilometers, 2720 square miles. It is located in the southwest section of the Neuquén and northwest section of the Rio Negro provinces, bordering with Chile. The park has two zones, the park and the natural reserve with development concentrated in the reserve. The largest city and a base for tourism is San Carlos de Bariloque, which is surrounded by the park. San Carlos de Bariloque is the main hub when visiting the lake, and is known as the gateway to Patagonia, the chocolate capital, 
and the honeymoon capital of Argentina. However, the city and other settlements are zoned outside the limits of the park. A further subzoning into the north, south and southern zones has been implemented with an exclusive recreational area named the Cerro Cathedral. Villa La Angostura is another lakeside resort also within the boundaries of the park. The area is known as the Argentine Lake District, as there are many lakes in the park, including Nahuel Huapi, Moscardi, Gutierrez, Trafal, Guillermo, and Perito Moreno Lakes. Cerro Catedral is a 2,388-metre-high peak within the park and an important ski resort. Cerro Tronador, on the Chilean border, is the highest mountain in the park at 3,491 metres 11,453 feet. Bordering the park to the north is the Lanin National Park. Geology Geological formations in the park and the reserve are generally tertiary rocks of volcanic origin coupled with andesites and porphyries. The cliffs of the San Pedro Peninsula depict eroded glacial features and the lakes also show many glacial effects. Climate The park has a cold temperate climate. Winters are cold and rainy with frequent snowfalls. Mean temperatures range between 2 to 4 degrees Celsius .6 to .2 degrees Fahrenheit during winter. Summers are dry with mean temperatures ranging between 14 to 16 degrees Celsius 57.2 to 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Mean annual precipitation ranges from 4,000 mm in, in Puerto Blest and decreases towards the east, averaging only 600 mm in, in the easternmost parts. <laughs> Lake Nahuel Huapi Lake Nahuel Huapi is the largest and deepest clear water lake in the Lake District of Argentina, with a depth of 425 meters (1,394 feet). Located at the foot of the Andes Mountains at an altitude of 767 meters (2,516 feet), it measures 544 square kilometers (210 square miles). The lake was discovered by the Jesuit priest Nicolas Moscardi in 1670 who also built a chapel on the Humal Peninsula of the lake. The lake extends 100 kilometers 62 miles across the border with Chile, and includes many fjords and the Valdivian temperate rainforest. The southern shore of the lake has many hotels and restaurants catering to the tourist industry. The Catriway Peninsula in the north of the lake has been set aside as a separate national park, Los Arrayanes National Park. The lake has many islands. The forest research station is located on one of them, Victoria Island, which is a natural reserve approachable by boats. Humal Island hosted the Humal Project, the Argentinian secret research project on nuclear fusion in 1949–1952. Bariloque <inaudible> <inaudible> San Carlos de Bariloque is located on the southern shore of Lake Nahuel Huapi. The town was established in 1902. However, its importance as tourist hub grew after the 1930s when the national park surrounding it was established. It is well known as the honeymoon capital of Argentina, apart from its fame for its chocolate manufacturing industry. Its 130 kilometers 81 miles stretch below the Andes Mountains is bounded on the south by Lago Moscardi and on the north by the Villa Trafal. North of the city the Seven Lakes Road provides scenic vistas of landscapes. Glaciers and waterfalls, which are near to the Pampa Linda, are located to the west of Bariloque. It is also the base for mountaineering trips to 3,554-metre-high Mount Tronador also known as the Thunderer as ice falling produces such sounds of extinct volcanic origin. The town is well connected by air, rail and road transport, the airport is 15 kilometres to the east of the town, and the train and bus stations are 3 kilometres to the east. The Cerro Catedral mountain peak is the snow sports center, with many skiing runs, which is 23 kilometers 14 miles from Bariloque. <laughs> Plants and animals The park's ecology consists of Patagonian steppe at lower elevations and Valdivian temperate forests at higher elevations. It is notable for its rich wildlife due to its many biotopes, attributed to the varied altitude and precipitation range. Plants 
Xerophytic Patagonian flora is dominant in the eastern half of the park while the western half is covered profusely with temperate rainforests. The dominant tree species in the park are the langas, koihu, and the nears. Other varieties of trees seen in the park are the Chilean cedar Ostracedrus chilensis, winter's bark Drymes wintery, Mersuginella apiculata, Lomatia ferruginea, Lomatia hirsuta, Alstromeria orantica, Fuchsia magellanica, Bamboo chusquea culcu, Mitraria coccinea and Embothrium coccinium. The Alirce or Patagonian cypress is a slow-growing conifer which is also present. Other flora include arrayanes, coihues, ferns, the conyacolihue reeds, amanques and arvejias. The llao llao fungus has irregular growth patterns on the trees and is a symbol of the area. It is also the name of the llao llao hotel, a famous resort. The Valdivian rainforests is well forested with fine arrayan trees with crumbling bark. In the high rainfall zones close to the Chilean border there is profusion of 450-year-old coihu trees small-leaved evergreen beaches, Alir's South American Spanish name of 1500-year vintage are seen spread throughout the park. Bamboo cane grows in abundance. Animals animals include river otters, Lantralongicaudes, southern Andean hemals, Hippocamelus bisulcus, putus, small deer, foxes, cougars, guanacos and maras. Hulan Lantra provocix, an endangered native otter, has been reported in the park. Birds reported include Magellanic woodpeckers, green austral parakeets, geese, ducks, swans, blue-eyed cormorants, Andean condors Vulture griffis, and green-backed firecrowns Saphenoid saphenioides. Amphibian fauna reported are Hylarina sylvatica and Bufo spinulosus. Five genera and 32 species of simuliidae black fly have been recorded. These genera are C. nisia, C. nisiamima, Gigantodax, Parastrasimulium, and Simulium, a subgenus of Simulium with 19 species. These account for 57% of the Simuliidae fauna found in Argentina. Nahuelito is a lake monster named after the Nahuel Huapi Lake, as its sighting in the lake is reported widely. Whether it is a fact or fiction, its sighting has been reported by local people and tourists with widely varying descriptions mentioning a giant water snake with humps and fish like fins to a swan with a snake's head, the overturned hull of a boat, and the stump of a tree. Its length is also reported in the range of 15 to 150 feet, 4.6 to 45.7 meters. Reported widely since the 1920s, predating Nessie and the book titled The Lost World Arthur Conan Doyle, Nahuelito is described as an Argentinian media star. Recreation The park offers many avenues for recreation. Particular places of interest in this context are the Tronador, Puerto Blest, Victoria Island and the Road to the Seven Lakes. Other options for recreation are available at the Cerro Catedral, Lopez and Punta Negra. Most of the recreation facility revolves around trekking of high mountain and steep hills apart from rafting, skiing in Cerro Catedral, kayaking in Pura Vida, mountain biking, rock climbing, kite surfing, canopy, paragliding, golf at LLAO LLAO, trekking on a number of routes, ferry services from Puerto Rias. Some of the well-developed routes for mountaineering are, the climb to the Thunderer Volcano, which has several trails that reach up to the large glaciers, trails to the Tronador an extinct volcano, the trails that link the San Martin Shelter and Monfredo Segre Black Lagoon, treks to San Martín and Monfredo Segre Laguna Negra, to López and to the viewpoint of the Stone of Habsburg, the walk of Paso de los Noobs Puerto Frias linking to Pampa Linda, to the valley and the ridge of Mount Rucaco Black Gap, and to Frey and San Martín Jaco Lagoon, which passes by the edge of Cerro Catedral. The trekking routes have accommodation facilities at several locations and the treks depend on fitness and the distance varies from a minimum of 12 km 7.5 miles to a maximum of 45 kilometers 28 miles involving 1 2 3 and more than 4 days of trekking the treks are graded under four categories depending on the terrain and the difficulty of climbing rugged hills of heights varying from 200 to 3000 meters 660 to 9840 feet 